Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. NFP trading. Use extreme caution. I've updated a, some of the donational indicators that we can use for NFP day. It is uh, Wednesday, October the 5th. So we've got NFP day in a couple of days. So I thought I'd make this video and send out a, uh, I guess, uh, batch 9B with the enhancements. You might remember in the TRO zones, I said I was going to try not to add anything. Well, I, I just had to. And I added the NFP column. The NFP column shows where price is in relation to prior NFP highs and lows. So, for example, the euro yen is in between the high that's what the equal signs means in between the high and low of month nine which is September now if we just look over here you can see once again there's an equal sign and here is month September these orange lines by making it a little bit bigger, it's easier to see. So you can see price has entered into what I'm calling an NFP zone, the high and low for that NFP. Now, if you look down here, this was the August NFP. Notice between the low of September and the high of August, there's all this area. What happened? September price got pushed down to the just below the low of the NFP and then it got pushed back up that tells you something you can see it here here's the NFP day price went down came back up but they, they pushed it down so you can see here the battle going on I hope that's clear. So once again, the indicators were, this indicator was enhanced to give the minus, meaning below that NFP date low, plus is above that NFP date high, and equals is between that NFP date high and low. So you get an idea. So right now, if we're going to think about this Friday, What could possibly happen? It could get pushed back down to here. It could get pushed up to here. This is the June NFP low. And I had I used to have close and open, but I thought that really doesn't mean anything. I mean the highs and lows in the midpoint, yeah, that means something. But the open of the NFP day really doesn't mean much. So I took out that column and, and replaced it with the Fib% percent retrace. So you can see here for September, it's at the, about the 27% level between high and low. Low is always zero, high is always 100. So you can see here, it's gone up 500% from this level, from 112.965. To the current 115.73 so that's quite an increase because you have to remember it's the range between the high and the low that's the level so it's going up one two three four almost five times I hope that's clear so we can go back to this chart now, also, you see here, magenta. It's near the threshold amount, which I believe I have is about two pips. Yeah, it's right around, I think maybe it's five pips. 
So if price is within five pips of the high or five pips of the low, and that's a user input, and the plot by date, and let's see, where is the threshold? Five pips. And you, that's a user input. You can change it. So that just gives you a heads up here that price is right there. So it might make a reversal. It might make a breakthrough. So here, actually the magenta is for, we were talking about NFP, but it's also for breakouts and the pivot points. So that threshold alert lets you know that price is near those levels. So once again, we can look here and you can see how these levels are overlapping. And what the TR zones indicator does, it goes from, it looks backwards through the dates as we put these dates in so it's going this way it's looking backwards now what I'll probably have to do is make another enhancement because I was thinking we have to enter these dates in by hand so come January we're gonna have 201701 whatever that first Friday is and what we'll have what the indicator needs to do is then sort these dates so it can always look at the most recent one first I just assume that's the most important so I want to know if it's in the ninth ninth month if not because since we're in the tenth month and we haven't hit NFP is it in the ninth month is it in the eighth month so you can see here with the New Zealand dollar it's within the eighth month Eighth month, and somebody made the comment that hey, they say Rumple One, you got so much on your screen, it's starting to look like charts on drugs. And I had to laugh. I go, yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting uh, a lot of horizontal lines on here, but they all mean something. And what you can do is put each indicator on a separate screen to to get a clearer view. So you can see here the overlap where we've got the low. Of July below the high of August and you can see here prices below that low and you can also see that in the gauge right here and remember this is close minus high close minus low as opposed to high minus close so we want the reason I, I changed that was because I want to know where price is in relation. So if it's positive, I know it's above. I'm not looking for reversals like on the GPS because these highs and lows don't move. But on the GPS for the current day, they do. They can get pushed up or back. So coming back to the chart. You can see I also have the pivot points and I enhanced the uh, TRO HL5 indicator and I'll just go through that once again uh, real quickly here. We've got show pivot and show the middle pivots and what I did was the enhancement now is it shows from R6 all the way down to S6. Most pivot point indicators stop at R3 and S3. But just this week, we had, I believe, the Euro Yen and the Dollar Yen were somewhere up around their R5 and 6 yesterday. Because, uh, as you know, what we had yesterday was a huge move here. But this only does it for the current day. I don't have it doing the previous uh, days. It would get um, talk about charts on drugs. Like I said, it's bad enough as it is. But of course, you can always expand things out. And just so you know, I'm using the enhanced floor pivots 
And there's something that a lot of people aren't familiar with. And let's see here. Let me... Um, Her, let's see let's actually go to a different chart and what I will do is I will turn off we will turn off everything but the pivots because I want you to see something. Let's see, it looks like I've got something else on. Let's turn off the midpoint too. So now we have nothing but pivots. And what do we have here? Oh, that was something that's from a uh, sonic that's from somebody else sometimes I use other people's indicators I don't have to build everything okay what I wanted to show you and let me turn off the mid pivots too just one more thing because I just want you to take a quick look at uh, the TC and the BC and the pivot point. Now, what the heck is that? One of these is the midpoint between yesterday's high and low. And then the distance between the midpoint and the pivot point, um, we put it on both sides. So if the uh, midpoint is above, then this then the midpoint's TC, if the midpoint's below, then it's BC, and then the subtraction is, it's just the pivot point plus the difference between the pivot point and this control point. And it's like top control, bottom control. And it just says that, you know, this is just an area to look at and see what price does in regards to that area. As you can see here, it's broken out. So that's what I wanted you to see. And this is enhanced floor pivots. That's what, and that's what these calculations are. And I just extended them all the way from R6 to S6. And as you saw earlier, we also have the mid pivots, which would just be the halfway between S1, S2, pivot, and S1, etc. So I've got about two minutes left here in this video. I think I have 15 minute limit and we're at 1324 right now. So those are the enhancements to the TRO zones indicator to the TRO HL5 and also to the um, TRO, I think it's TRO 2016 um, plot by date indicator. So now with the plot by date, it'll give you the FIB uh, retrace percent. And you don't just have to put in NFP dates. There's a little note that you can put in here, and I'm almost out of time, but you could just put whatever note message you want in there, and it'll print out for you so fellow traders I hope that helps and remember NFP trading use extreme caution because it's not what you trade it's how you trade it the rumpled one signing out